is an update that's coming to the fore from ISRO. Remember, we're just three days away from when India launches Aditya L1, the next mission for ISRO right after the success of Chandrayaan-3. An update coming to the fore from the Indian Space Research Organization on the Aditya L1 mission. The preparations are on in full swing. The launch is progressing as on track. The launch rehearsal vehicle, the internal checks are all complete. That's the latest that ISRO, ISRO has come out and confirmed. They've been putting these updates on social media. Every single time there is an update to share. We had some pictures that were released this morning as well. Harish Upadhyay, my colleague, joining us, getting us the latest on this. Harish, a little less than 72 hours to go before that uh, launch that happens. After the moon, we're ready to look the sun in the eye. Absolutely. Uh, the launch vehicle, PSLV, has been checked. Uh, the launch rehearsal, which is part of every launch, which is almost a SOP of sorts, that has been done. Uh, you can see in these photos, uh, the launch vehicle has reached the launch pad. This is at uh, Shrihari Kota. So all checks completed now. Uh, just fingers crossed. And ISRO would be hoping that uh, in somewhere around 120 days, uh, starting from this Saturday, uh, they would be able to place this payload in the L1 point that would further study uh, multiple aspects of sun, seven payloads to be precise. Uh, they will look at the photosphere, the chromosphere and the outermost layer of sun. And uh, why is it significant? Because this is the first time that uh, ISRO would be studying sun not from uh, planet Earth, but from the outer orbit. And that's why ISRO is excited. The scientific community is excited. Absolutely. 1.5 million kilometers away from Earth is where that L1 point is, where we are going to be having uh, this uh, mission of ours there in a parking lot, so to stay, looking at the sun, trying to look uh, at what more can be discovered. Now, this is not the first time we've had these uh, solar missions. Uh, First time for India, but not first time for the world. NASA, uh, the ESA, Harish, has also uh, put forth many of these missions. Some successful, some not. What exactly are the objectives for ISRO's mission? Well, as you rightly pointed out, the first one for uh, the country. Uh, the main objective, or rather uh, why this point has been chosen by ISRO, is to ensure that uh, they can continuously study sun whether it's the photosphere, the chromosphere, or the outermost layer of sun. And the advantage of uh, placing that L1 is that it gives a continuous uh, view of the sun, where it can study sun without any sort of a disturbance in terms of uh, uh, eclipse or any other solar event one. Second, apart from looking at the sun, uh, one of the payload part of this uh, seven wave payloads will also look at or study where the L1 point is and uh, the aspects there. So ISRO ensuring that all these payloads are utilized uh, to the maximum possible extent. Right, now it's going to take about uh, four months, like you pointed out, Harish, uh, for uh, this to actually reach the L1, uh, the Lagrange point, uh, from where the study is going to begin. But what exactly is the time frame as far as the life of the mission as a whole is concerned, if you have any details on that? Well, ISRO is saying uh, that this mission would go on for a few months post uh, uh, the payloads reach L1 point. But one aspect that we'll have to point out here is that uh, whether it's Chandrayaan or the Mars Orbiter mission, uh, we've seen ISRO successfully ensuring that uh, the payloads or even the whole mission itself uh, goes beyond what it has been designed for. So ISRO hoping even in this case, uh, this goes on to give uh, vital data for the months and years to come. Absolutely. There are several reasons uh, why ISRO is undertaking this uh, mission, quite historic, right after, on the back of uh, the success of Chandrayaan-3. Uh, remember when you had spoken, Harish, uh, to the chairman of ISRO right after the success of uh, Chandrayaan-3, he had said that we're all ready, only the date has to be decided. That date has now come out. 2nd of September, 11.50 a.m. is when we are going to be seeing this launch from Sri Harikota. You perhaps are going to be there to witness it as well. But uh, are we expecting any dignitaries, like perhaps the Prime Minister, to also be in attendance? on that day? Well, perhaps uh, looking at the schedule that the Prime Minister has, uh, it's unlikely the Prime Minister would be at Sri Harikota, but the top brass of ISRO uh, likely to be there uh, during Chandrayaan. Uh, we had uh, MOSPM also being there. We'll have to see if uh, he would be there uh, this weekend for the launch. Uh, perhaps for ISRO, uh, there would be two crucial points. Uh, one is putting this in the lower Earth orbit, and then ensuring it reaches the L1 point. Perhaps when it, once it reaches the L1 point is when perhaps ISRO would uh, have a major announcement on the findings, just like we've seen with Chandrayaan. And uh, if indeed ISRO goes on to uh, discover 
uh, more aspects which haven't come out in the uh, solar probe that has been carried out by both NASA and the European Space Agency. Uh, that would be something uh, that would involve the top of the government as well in terms of the announcement.